Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to Friday's edition of Optimize. My name's Andy. I hope you had a great week. And in today's video, I'm going to give you an in-depth guide on how to add a playlist to your YouTube channel and all the settings that go with that. So out of the way, let's get started. So first off, you want to go to where it has your channel name. Mine says Optimize. And below here, you'll have a number of tabs. You want to click on the one next to videos and between channels and click on playlists. Once you've opened up your playlist screen, it will show you all the playlists that you have on your YouTube channel. I have one, which is the Optimize YouTube Tips playlist. This is where all the videos that I make for this channel get stored. And as you can see, it is showing 18 videos. Now to create your playlist, you want to go up to the top left. You know, say create a playlist with a button next to it. Click that one and to create your new playlist. First off, it'll ask for your playlist title. So I'm going to put new playlist. And below here on the bottom left, you have a setting that says public. If you click on that, there are three settings in which you can have for a playlist. Public, that means it's publicly available to everyone to see. Unlisted, which means it won't show on your page, but you can share the link to the playlist so people can see it. And private, this is completely private and nobody else can see this playlist on your YouTube channel. Up for this video, I'm going to set mine as public and click create. Now, once you've done that, YouTube will then create your playlist. You now have even more options available to you. The first one, you can edit the name of your playlist. And below, you can add your playlist description. I always advise to add a description, include your keywords, your channel tags, anything that is involved with your channel for this playlist will help search results for your content. And below here, you have the playlist settings. If you click on this, you'll have a number of settings that come up. You have the basic playlist settings. First off, you have the playlist privacy. Much the same when you click your playlist, you can set it's public, unlisted, or private. And below here, you've got your ordering. This is the order in which your videos you want to appear in your playlist. So the first one is manual. This means you manually sort the videos in your playlist depending on what order you want to go them in. Below that, you have your most popular. So your most popular will always be at the top of your playlist. Then you've got your date added, newest to oldest, then oldest to newest. And then when you publish a video, it will either publish your newest video first and your oldest video last, or it will publish your oldest video first and your newest video last. And below here, you have a checkbox. It will say add new videos to the top of the playlist. This means when you're in your video settings and you add it in, do you want to add that video to a playlist? If you click that button, any new video added to that playlist will be right at the very top. On the right hand side, you have additional options. You can set this here, this checkbox that says set official series for the playlist. This means any videos that go in this playlist will be classed as an official series. Now there are drawbacks to using this. If you hover over the information tab, it will say, use this setting for sets of videos uploaded to your channel as part of an official series. A video cannot appear in more than one series playlist. YouTube may use this information to modify how the videos are presented or discovered. Now on my optimized YouTube tips playlist, I've set that as an official playlist. This means all videos in there are part of that playlist and only that playlist. Below here, you have allow embedding. This means you allow your viewers to use the embedding code to embed it on websites and blogs and forums and such like that. This can help you generate more views and more subscribers. So I always say to allow embedding of your playlists. Next to basic, you have auto add. Here you can add a rule to your videos if it will auto add to a playlist depending on the keywords that you use. So below it will say define rules for the videos to be automatically added to this playlist. New videos fitting any of these rules will be automatically added. So what we could do now we could add a rule and for the title we could put in how to. So now any title that contains how to in it will be automatically added to this playlist. And once you've done that, that would be your playlist set up. And if you want to delete the playlist, it's very simple. You go down to the very bottom left of the pop-up box and click delete playlist. It will then come up with a confirmation, say, are you sure you want to delete the new playlist? And it'll have a disclaimer and a note saying deleting playlist is permanent and action cannot be undone. So once you delete that playlist, you cannot get it back. If you have videos in that playlist, it will also tell you if you delete this playlist, all these videos could be deleted with it. Now to confirm the deletion, you click on the big red button and say yes, delete it. And now that playlist has been removed from my channel. So thank you very much for guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I read and reply to every single one. I hope you have a great Easter. 
get lots of chocolate eggs and spend lots of time with your friends and family. And I'll see you all in the next edition of Optimize.